I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. In this series, you have learned about mechanics and some concepts about moments. Now we are going to share with you in details the solution of practice test questions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given here. The first question has two parts. Find moment about P in the following system of forces. So we are given two systems where point P is shown with the red dot and the forces are shown in these blue lines. You need to write down the solution of these questions. Also remember that when you write down the moment, you should also write the rotation. The idea here is to understand the solution so that you can do similar questions in your own examination. So you are really, so we are really preparing you for your own test. I'd like you to pause the video, make an attempt, and then look into my solution. So let us see how do we solve such questions. Now when we talk about moments, it is basically a product of force with the shortest distance from the point. So the moment about any point, in which case here we are saying moment about point P, will be the product of force with the shortest distance D. Now in vectors, it is a cross product, but we need to take the shortest distance, remember that. So in this particular case, the force of 10 newtons will cause moment about P, which will be in the direction of, or rather, it will rotate in the direction which is clockwise. So we can say moment at P, because of 10 newtons will be 10 newtons times 2 meters, and this will be clockwise. Moment because of the force which is 6 newtons at this point will be counterclockwise, correct? So because of this force, it is going to be counterclockwise. And the moment because of 6 newtons will be counterclockwise. We can say that as 6 newtons. The distance between the shortest distance is 3 meters, right? And this is counterclockwise. Now, when you want to have net moment at any particular point, you actually add all these moments. So we'll do sum of all the moments. So, which is forces into distances. That is what you are doing, going to do. Now, you should consider clockwise as positive or negative and counterclockwise in the opposite direction. So, we will consider clockwise as positive and counterclockwise as negative for our solution. It could be the other way also, right? So, if that is the case, then we can say that the sum of all the moments about the point P is basically 10 times 2, which will be positive, but 6 times 3 will be negative, Newton meters. So that gives you 20 minus 
80 Newton meters or 2 Newton meter. Since the answer is positive, we'll write the solution as 2 Newton meter and the direction will be clockwise. Rotation. Is that clear to you? So, that is how you are arriving at a result for such a question. Now, let's see how do we solve part B. Now, in part B, we are given the force which is oblique and from the point P, we are given two distances which are 3 meter and 4 meters. Make a note that this is indeed not the shortest distance, correct? How do you find the shortest distance, right? So, so the idea here is to find distance d from force f. So, trigonometry is used in this particular case or in such cases. So, what we are going to do here is draw a perpendicular from P to the line. So, this perpendicular forms a right angle triangle as you can see, correct? So, now the shortest distance is this distance D. How much is that? This is what you need to calculate. Now, to find this distance, we need to first find what this angle theta is. Then we can find what the distance is. Correct? So, let me just label this to explain better. So, let's say this point here is M and the point here is A. In that case, consider the triangle PMA. So, as you can see in this particular triangle, the angle theta, we are interested in PM. So, and this is the hypotenuse. PA is the hypotenuse. Correct? So, we can actually relate PM within this triangle as sine theta of 4m, correct? So, in this particular triangle, we know that sine theta is equal to opposite side Pm over the hypotenuse Pa. Now, from here, we know that Pm, the shortest distance d, is basically equal to P A, which is 4, sine theta. But what is sine theta? We don't know what angle theta is. So, that means we should find the angle theta. And because of that, we are already given the triangle here. Let me call this point S B. So, if you consider the triangle PBA, now in that case, again theta is the common angle. We can write down that tan theta is equal to opposite side PB over the adjacent side PA. Now, both are given to us, right, as 3 and 4. And therefore, theta is equal to tan inverse of 3 by 4. Is that clear to you? So, from here, we can get the value of theta. So, I am using the calculator to find this particular answer. Tan inverse of 3 divided by 4 is equal to uh, let's do it in degrees. I found the answer in radians. So, I'll write down in degrees. I'm converting that to degrees now. 
and then we do a shift tan inverse of 3 divided by 4. So that gives me 36.869. So that is the value of theta. Now substituting this value of theta, we can now find the shortest distance d, right? So now we can say d is 4 of sine of this particular angle, which is 36.8698 degrees. You get the idea. So we have the angle. We can now do sine of that, which is 3 over 5. As you know, this side will be 5. And multiply that by 4. That gives you the shortest distance, D, of 2.4 meters. Is that clear to you? Very critical to find this distance. So, D is basically 4 times sine of tan inverse 3 over 4. You get the idea. Or you could have solved this triangle finding the hypotenuse as 5 and then you could do it. So anyway, so I hope this critical step is absolutely clear. Once you have found the shortest distance and you know the force, you can now find the moment about point P, right? So now the moment about point P will be 5 times the distance which is 2.4, correct? And that is equal to, let's multiply by 4, 2.4 by 5, and that gives us 12. And the units are Newton meter. You have to include the direction also. So direction about point P will be clockwise, as you can see here. So we'll say clockwise. Are these steps absolutely clear? So that is how we will actually solve these questions. Now these steps at length can help you answer such questions. So our answer here is 12 Newton meter clockwise. And in this particular case, we found earlier that it was 2 Newton meter clockwise. So I hope with this, the solution of question number one is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my channel, then be great. And if you have any doubts, feel free to write down an email on the address provided. Thanks for your time and all the best.